Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and I have a special announcement to make. I am reviving the Daily Edge. Now, for you that don't know what the Daily Edge is, but it's simple, it's a special part of Tradimo where you get on a daily basis analysis, educational content and uh, much more to get an edge or to get the edge that you need in the market well to beat it and to profit from it and right now i'm going to throw in this um this analysis on the us dollar versus the swiss franc all right now this analysis is premium which means that i already sent it to my premium uh, members but i wanted to show you uh what you are missing and if you want to get this kind of analysis of course just uh opt in on the uh with the bottom below this video now, uh, as you can see, this is the US dollar versus the Swiss franc. Uh, on the upside, we have parity. With uh, the yellow dotted line is parity. And uh, right now, we uh, have rejected the last high. And uh, this is very important in my eyes because not only we have rejected the last high, but it, this is also a 76.4% retracement of the entire move to the downside. So basically what we did is this. We uh, went from this high above parity and we crashed all the way down here, retraced 76.4, retraced back and retest the 76.4 without, uh, uh, without buyers being able to... Um, well, uh, to uh, break above. So, uh, in my eyes, this looks uh, very bearish in the short term. And the reason this looks bearish in the short term is because, well, you can see that I have a set of two uh, volume profiles. The volume profile on my right is the volume profile of the entire chart. So, basically, right now, we are trading below the point of control. And that is important because the point of control is the is the level where the most volume has been traded in the present and in the past. OK, so basically we are trading below that point. And uh, well, some some of you might think or might, uh, yeah, might say that this looks like a flag, which means that uh, what might happen is that we hit that high or we hit that previous high. Then we started to chop inside that flag for a continuation higher and a retest of parity. Yes, that's a possible scenario. But in my opinion, we are going to experience a deeper retracement. Why? Because we are not, uh, we, uh, there's no real buyers buying at the 99 uh, level, in my opinion. And the reason is because of the second um, volume profile. The second volume profile is the analysis on only on the volume of the last move up. Only on this, uh, yeah, well, this volume profile is now analyzing just this volume. And as you can see, the, the, uh, the uh, point of control or the level where the most volume was traded um, is right down here at the 98, uh, around the 98.50 level, which means that um, what I think it could happen is that we are going to have a retrace back down and then buyers are going, going to jump in and are going to try to retest parity on the US dollar Swiss franc. And the reason is because we have a lot of madness, magnets here. We have that point of control of the entire volume of the of the last move up. We have this uh, very strong area of resist of support at the 98 uh, 40 level. And we have that 76.4% retracement of the last move up and the 50% retracement of the entire move up. So, um, in my opinion, we are just way, way too soon to buy this currency pair. And not only that, because we might, um, we might drop here and retest this uh, uh, trend line for the third time. That would give me a very nice risk versus reward, all right? Because I will be buying right here and I will be risking uh, uh, well, I will put my stop loss below the previous low at around 98. My first target, of course, will be the 99.45, and uh, uh, I will wait to see a reaction of parity. But, uh, well, this is what I think, and I think that uh, buying into the US dollar, uh, uh, I mean, buying into this weakness on the US dollar versus the Swiss franc, um, it's a risky move given the fact that we have. Uh, this uh, 
this big zone where I think buyers are positioned. So uh, I do have my alert down here, and if well, if price this I mean if buyers jump in here and break with this high, of course my trade idea was invalid, but uh, I would rather take a low risk trade with a higher reward than a high risk trade with a lower reward. Now again, if you want to get this kind of analysis on a daily basis, also educational content, just subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, the button is right below this video and I'll see you on the inside.